Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever it is. This is Donald L. Scoville, and I'm here to present to you some interesting facts and other comments about things that are going on in our country. You know, this story reminds me of a fireman group. They rushed around when there was a fire, ran around like chickens with their heads cut off, and finally they jumped in their fire trucks and they zoomed to the fire. And then when they got there, they realized they didn't bring the fire hoses. <laughs> That's what our senators and our House of Representatives are doing today. They're wanting to tear down this monument, this statue, this plaque, whatever it is. Why? Have these congressmen, have they sat down and analyzed what is a hero? The definition of a hero is some person or persons who does something at great risk to themselves for the common good of the country or of mankind. Take George Washington for an example. He fought the British. Long, hard war, cold winter in Valley Forge, and he had to put up with it, but he did at great risk to himself and of his men. But he won. He won our independence. We became a country independent of Britain because of him. Now, we're saying, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's look at Washington. Well, let's do that. Washington was a landowner, a rich one. He was married. He had no natural children. He did adopt a son. And he did own some slaves. And don't forget, he had bad teeth. But what, what do all those things have to do with the man being honored as a hero. You know, take Martin Luther King. He did a lot for our country. Yes, he did. But the FBI reports that he was unfaithful to his wife. Now, I'm not condoning that. But should we take away all the good this man did for us because of some infidelities? Don't forget. These people, they're still humans. They're not perfect, and there isn't a human that is. But no, our Congress senators, they want to listen to the loudest voice there is, these radicals that make a lot of noise, and they listen to them. Well, you know, it's time that you, you, me, get together and say, listen, Mr. Senator or Mr. Congressman, you listen to the majority because we're going to become the squeaky wheel that needs the grease. These radicals, they're just a small group causing a lot of trouble and they shouldn't be listened to. I would appreciate your comments, appreciate you signing up to subscribe to my channel. I uh, appreciate you listening to this. Thank you very much. This is Donald L. Scoville. Thank you.